News alert now on a missing mother of five in Connecticut. Police now asking residents of New Canaan for security footage that could capture driving around her driving around the time of Jennifer Dulos disappeared. As court documents claim surveillance footage shows a man resembling her estranged husband leaving bags of blood-stained items in trash bins along a road in Hartford, Connecticut. Steve Rogers is a retired lieutenant from the Nutley, uh, New Jersey Police Department and a former member of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. It does not look good for this mother of five, Steve. Well, it doesn't look good, and it certainly doesn't look good for the husband. And I always say innocent until proven guilty, but Sandra, I've got to tell you, extraordinary police work. They have a lot of crime scenes now that they may have to secure. How do you handle that? New Canaan's a small town north of New York City, you know, Fairfield, Connecticut. How do you handle this? Well, there's no doubt they're going to bring a lot of law enforcement personnel from other agencies in, especially these crime scenes. Look, the footage that people could provide the police from their homes. A lot of us have cameras. Uh, will be extraordinary uh, evidence for the police to perhaps charge him with I believe, and this is only my opinion based on my experience, he could be uh, facing homicide tra charges. Not to mention, sure. as you've got this map up, uh, multiple locations where uh, he was apparently spotted on these security cameras, but also there was multiple homes involved uh, that they're going to have to investigate. So the police have put out a, a statement. Anybody, please look at your security footage cameras. Call us if you see any unusual activity because the residents of these areas could certainly help. Oh, and they will. They will call. They're very upset over what happened here. But, but the most important piece of evidence may come from the girlfriend because they always flip. Uh, I could see where a deal may be in the making where if she flips on him, uh, they'll be a, a little lighter on her, and then they're going to go right after him. But as I said last week when we were here, he was the target. He was the person of interest. He was the suspect. Extraordinary police work. Boy, does this story run deep because we're now learning that uh, the father, the picture there, uh, who they're, they're keeping him, right? They did not release him on bond. That they released correct. the girlfriend on bond. She's yeah. got a uh, an anklet on that'll keep track of her with a GPS. Uh, he was dating her, the girlfriend, for a year before filing for divorce from now missing Jennifer Dulos. They had five children together. The girlfriend also had children. She and the kids moved in with him before they were even divorced. So I mean, there's a lot of details that we're still learning about this story. And in addition to that, I understand the wife had uh, uh, enumerated many times she was in fear of, of, of him. So yeah, there's a lot of missing pieces, a lot of dots to connect, but the police are right on track. And wait until they go to these trash bins, these areas where they believe the trash bags were dumped. There's going to be strong physical evidence that they will find. The arrest warrants is where we learned all of this uh, about the attempt to clean up blood a splatter from the garage of Jennifer Dulos's uh, home. Uh, they ditched her bloodstained materials, as you said, 30 trash bins in Hartford later that night. So that's why this security footage is going to be key. State forensic teams determined the blood belonged to Jennifer Dulos, according to the the warrant. So we're getting a lot more facts in this case, Steve. Yeah. And think about this, that the police were so good in this investigation, they did not release information that would contaminate the evidence where they believed it was or compromise the investigation. So they're onto something very significant. I've got to tell you, uh, I know I keep on repeating it, but extraordinary police And as work. far as it looking like him in the security footage, they were also able to tie he and his girlfriend's cell phones to the Hartford area, at which time they were apparently or allegedly seen on that security footage. So a lot of the pieces seem to be coming together here as and, well. And they are, they are. And it's a multiple uh, number of uh, evidence that they will find and connect those dots. And we're going to find this, the end of this story real soon. Police dogs involved, trained electronic equipment. They are using everything at their disposable disposal to search for this missing mother of five. Steve, I'm sure we'll see you again as we continue to get updates on the story. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, outnumbered.